Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but um, unfortunately two of some of our most popular videos got um, taken down because they apparently violated YouTube's terms of service. And that is none other than getting games on a calculator, a TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator, and getting Game Boy games. So um, this is really disappointing because if you actually looked on YouTube's terms of service, you'll see that there's actually nothing we're violating. And there are plenty of other videos similar, if not showing um, almost the same strategies um, on YouTube and they're still running perfectly fine. And um, YouTube wouldn't even let me wouldn't even let me download my own video. So here we are remaking it. Um, I'm gonna try and make, I'm gonna try my best to make this as best as I possibly can. And I will um, save this on my computer just in case something else happens. But um, yeah, um, let's get started. So in a let's get started. So in a similar fashion to the old video, I will include a file, a zip file that includes all the necessary other files that we need to get our calculator working and a also a file that I'll have a bunch of links for stuff not down here. Um, this is again just a pre-release, this is just for the video, um, there'll probably be um, more, they, there might be more, there definitely won't be any less, this is the bare minimums. But um, make sure to give that a download, um, you can find it, I'll put it in the description, I'll pin a comment, whatever, and um, I'll also put links for everything um, because this will, I will try and update this file as much as I can. But again, if you want the latest, um, I recommend you click on this links file or go in the description or again, probably the pinned comment for the most up-to-date. I'd recommend that. Um, again, it's really simple. You just download it straight from the website. But um, if you're just now watching this right after the video is released, you're probably going to be fine. So um, yeah, let's open up this txt file really quickly. And so um, here's the text file. Um, Oh, I forgot I'm looking at it in Notepad++, sorry about that. Um, looks a little weird. Again, whatever you open the TXT file in is probably how it's going to look. So again, yeah, it's not finished. I mean, I'm obviously missing the video link and I'll probably add a few other things. But um, we're going to want to download kind of everything from here. Um, so we also have a we also have Chemitech, which is a website to download games. Um, make sure you do download this. Um, probably let's start with the most important. This is going to be TI Connect CE. So this is a program built by TI um, Texas Instruments that will let you send programs to your calculator. So it's very, very useful, um, not only just for installing games, but a ton of other things. You can actually take pictures of stuff on your calculator. Um, so this is definitely, so all these are definitely a must have, but we're going to start right here. And um, the rest of these are all going to be individual files, except for this. This is going to be a bunch of games where you can download and pick and choose. But um, yeah, um, these three are all going to be important files. And then Cabri Jr. is actually an app made by Texas Instruments. But you should, most calculators should have it pre-installed. If you may have deleted it, then um, you can just re-download it from here. So let's, um, I'll see you guys when um, you all have downloaded TI Connect CE. And we'll start from there. So, um, welcome to TI Connect CE. Hopefully you've downloaded it. When you first open it, um, this is what it should look like. Um, so yeah, this is the photo page. Um, but first, let's obviously do the obvious and connect our graphing calculator. No, it's not Bluetooth. Um, so you're just gonna wanna use the charging cable that came with your that came with your calculator and plug that in and then just plug it into whatever device you're on, whether it be a laptop, Mac, Windows, whatever. I'm gonna just plug mine in right now. And your calculator should automatically come on once it's connect once it's like once you plugged it into something. So um, now you can see over here and connected calculators. We have um, our calculator. This is mine. But um, here's the photo thing I was talking about. So you can actually take a picture. Of course, I'm just on the home screen, and you can like, delete that if you want. But what we're probably going to look at is this is the photo screen. Down here is the program editor. Um, that's way out of the scope of this video. But this is um, all our files. So in here, we have everything on your calculator. For me, it's ridiculously long. But for you, it shouldn't be that long. But we can, this is where you'll add all your files, I guess. So it'll also show you your storage information. But um, bit to actually get files in, you can drag and drop them. Or you can um, click over here to open, like, um, just to open all your files. So mine's, mine are in downloads. Um, and then I'm going to control and click. One, two, and then there's one more. So um, I've only downed, downloaded Artifice, CLibs, and um, I haven't, and um, Cesium. I wouldn't, I'd hold off on downloading the actual games. I'll go over the, with that with y'all later. And so, um, yeah, so this is um, kind of how we send things. Um, for most things, you're gonna leave it on archive. So there's two 
storage places where you can store stuff. You have your RAM and your archive. Your RAM is going to be more accessible, um, but it's also going to be very limited in amount of storage space. Archive has a lot, a lot of storage, but it's not that easy to get to. But I will show you how to get to it faster. But um, I think like th for this, for these two, just leave it as is, and um, you can just click, um, you can just click all connected calcul calculators, or you can click select calculators and select yours if you only have one one connected. Um, that should be it. And um, if you already have, I already have this, so I'm just going to replace this since this is probably newer since I just downloaded it like 30 minutes ago. And then just click send. And once that's done, it should be in there. And now I need to send cesium. So I'll click on the laptop icon again. I, I don't know if you can actually see this um, file icon. Here's cesium. Click open. And then for just for, for this cesium, um, since it's the installer, we'll um, send it to RAM and then send. And then just like that, now we're ready to actually start working with the calculator itself. So um, boot up your calculator and you should see all of the files um, or all the files should be on here. Um, so I want to take just a bit of time to kind of explain kind of what we just did. So C libs, these are just going to be libraries for um, our program. So if you have any like programming experience, you'll know like with C and C++, a library just helps like it just help. It just gives more information just really for simple beginners. It just helps like um, it helps programs do their jobs. So that's a necessity for most to all um, most to all programs. Artifice is basically so what happened um, by like fall 2020, I think, um, Texas Instruments actually removed the assembly feature, which let you run games. So games actually work by using the assembly feature on a calculator. But um, and that's been a while f and that's been around for a while. So if you had your calculator since before 2020 and you haven't run a software update, if you click on the second key and then hit zero in catalog, you should go down and you should see this ASM button. And if you do that, you can hit ASM and then click program and run your game. Um, I have this because it's just an emulator, but I'll do this because most of you probably won't have one from that long ago. If you do, you can just download your programs um, and you can open um, ASM and hit cesium and um, that's fine. But for what we have to do is we have to actually use artifice and artifice will pretty much just bring that function back. It's like a jailbreak to the calculator. So let's do that really quickly. So to do that, you want to go to apps and here's where Cabri Jr. comes into play. So go to Cabri Jr. and open it up, um, press any key and then hit Y equals. Go down to the open menu. And if you haven't done anything with Cabri Jr., you should just have you should only have just the artifice um, artifice figure. Um, if not, you can use the arrow keys. And um, so if it's highlighted like that, if your screen looks like this, just hit enter and it'll open it up. So to now for cesium, all we're going to do is just hit run. Just click enter and it should say cesium installed in the apps menu. Hit enter again and then just click Dell on the Dell to delete the software or the installer. And then now you can hit mode, go back to the home page. And if we open apps, We'll now see we have cesium, if my arrow keys will work, we'll have cesium installed. So we can hit enter and this is cesium. So cesium is a shell is what it's called. But basically what cesium does is it just holds a, it's just a nicer way to access all your games instead of through the program menu. Um, I like it a lot. It's very simple to use um, and it has really everything. Um, so it'll show you like your RAM, your ROM free, um, your apps. So you can switch between your apps and programs. And um, so yeah, uh, let's um, let's get uh, and so yeah, let me just quickly show you how to actually use it. Um, you can hit um, mode to change the settings. So, like if you want to um, change your colors, you can just hit like enter up here. And let's say I want like a uh, like a red theme. I don't know. You know this is um, yeah like something like this. I guess that's sort of red. You can hit enter. And that'll change that. Um, if I want to like display uh, or like hide hidden programs um, or like um, yeah whatever, and then just hit like clear again, it'll go back. And oh, sorry, it's freezing up. So let's just open it back up again. And here we go. So yeah. Um, and then another thing you can also do is you can modify things. So here's how you can actually archive things by just hitting that um, um, by hitting that um, what is the alpha. And that will bring you up. That's not. It's not alpha. It's um, node. No, okay. 
But um, this is this is how you archive. I don't think I can actually do it on this since this is not like a program. Um, I will show you the um, and see so, yeah, how. So let's go. Let's go find some games. So by clicking on the by clicking on the um, link that was uh, by clicking on the link for Chemitech um, that says find all the games here, it'll bring you up to Chemitech. And this is arguably a much better website than the one I had for last video for the last video, um, just because it has so much more variety and it's much easier to upload and it's been around for forever. Um, so here you have all the games. Simply, if you want a game like I oh, want Flappy Bird, just click it and then you can hit that download file. So I'll go download that. And then you can just um, I don't know, hit the back arrow, I guess, and you'll be back. So feel free to look around and um, so yeah, let's say I want I don't know, let's say I want um, Snake. This is a pretty good one. Again, if you I do have a video on all the games that I use and a bunch more in depth on like how to save storage. Um, I have that on my channel. It's I'll leave it in the description. It's the kind of ultimate. Um, it's the ultimate um, calculator setup, gaming setup, I guess. I think. Um, it's been a while. Um, so yeah, um, I want to play, let's say I want chess, you can just hit download and get back. So yeah, it's been around for a while, well, it's seven years. But um, yeah, just be careful though when you're sending everything, like if I downloaded Mario, I know, um, I, it's kind of, it's, um, what do you call it, it's, it's backwards, I guess. So it's kind of, it's basically Mario and we'll have videos. When you download it, you'll see a bunch of files that end in the .8xp, or they have like the TI Connect CE, like, logo on it you want to send every single file um you want to send every single file over there unless it's like unless it's like the cesium folder where it says like cesium and like dutch so like if you have like if it's for a different language don't send it but if it says like um make sure yeah just send send all the files send all the files except for like the ones for different languages i'll just yeah and then um so yeah i'll see you back on the calculator when we send everything through so I've just sent everything through from TI Connect CE, all the games that we downloaded. Um, I, sh I sent them all to RAM. Um, I will show you how to move them over to archive through Cesium. But again, check out that calculator gaming setup video. Um, it, will, it will help you, with if, especially if you're confused and show you a ton of more tricks. And um, if you want alternatives to Cesium, spoiler alert, they are there. So I'm gonna open up Cesium again and let's check if they all work. So I got Chess, um, Flappy Bird, and Snake. So let's first boot up chess and let's see how that goes. So boom, we're in, um, we'll just click um, new game. And again, usually um, new game, um, usually I'll just show you most of the controls on those games. So for this one, I can, I think, like let's say I wanna move a pawn forward. I can actually like select things and move it. Um, but to get out of most games, usually it's gonna be the clear button. If it doesn't explicitly say, it's gonna be, be the clear button. And also, you're gonna want to you're gonna use um, the second key a lot. So for um, so yeah, usually like um, some games I know games I know like um, Mario, um, you'll use second to jump. It's kind of like it's kind of like a Game Boy. Like um, second is like your A and Alpha is like the B. Um, it's kind of like that on the calculator. You don't really use the Enter as much just because it's easier. To like it's like hold if that makes sense. So let's try Flappy Bird. Um, here we go. Um, you can click any key and. Um, I'm doing this on my on a computer emulation of a calculator, so I don't know how good I'll be. But I was trust me, I was I was decent, I guess. I got my high score was like I think 60 on this. Okay, great. It's not even like clicking. What if I like if I use my like keyboard? It's a bit better. No, my high score is like my high score is 60. Trust. Okay. Um, this is this is way too. The delay is really bad on this. I'm gonna just um. And then lastly, there's snake. This is there's a lot of snakes, but this one's my favorite, um, just because there's so much customization. So I can change like, um, and I can change like my um, my like the color of my skin. So like I can be like, let's say I want to be like I don't know, red. And then the berries can be like, what color? Like white, I guess. And then um, I can also increase my size. So I'll, maybe make my size a bit and then second starts and then I can just use my arrow keys to kind of move around and um, so yeah and then also for this one I'm almost positive clear is how to get out yeah and then that clear is also how you get out of cesium by the way just in case you were stuck um, and so now um, now to actually show you how to like archive stuff so let's just go to chess for example um, again the attribute over if you look on the right side you'll see attrib I'm sure which is short, short for attribute new program rename and settings so if we hit alpha 
it'll actually bring us to these things. So it will say locked. Um, this just means you can't actually undo this. This is what um, T Texas Instruments actually did um, to prevent us from playing SM, but um, we have Artifice. And another cool thing about Cesium is that it kind of works together with Artifice, like all shells do. But um, it's like, you'll see that like we can boot a game straight from here, which is much easier than going all the way into Artifice. Um, going through Cabri Junior. So that's why I included this. And there's also a ton of other options if you don't like Cesium. Again, I have them all in my um, game, in my, um, in my uh, calculated gaming setup. Um, but yeah, feel free to check that out. So we're over here. Um, we can go to Archive and we'll just hit Enter. And then boom, we can hit Clear to go back to the actual selection. And now it's Archive. You'll see it has that little like broken USB flash drive, I'm guessing. And so if we run it from here, it'll still work. Um, so that's the benefit of having like shells like this, it'll still work. If you try and run it from the program menu, I'm pretty sure it won't work. Um, but um, but yeah, give it a try. And um, so yeah, um, you can send these all over. And if you're wondering why I have um, so much um, storage, again, um, this is actually an emulator on my computer. It's not a real calculator. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get them. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, it was fun to make another video after a while. Um, yeah, see you later.